um, okay. The name of the book is called Spain, A History in Heart, written by uh, Bradley William. This is a very good book. They give it the history of El Cid. El Cid is what Christian that fought with the Muslim, okay, in Spain. The word El Cid means my lord, okay? He was a black man. They were black, dark skin. When I say black, I'm talking about Hispanic also. Because we're saying complexion. Because you are a lighter complexion than me, you know what I'm saying? But this shows you these are the Moors. You see the Arabic language? The reason why the Moors speak Arabic in Spain because the, don't tell Muhammad, a lot of Jews that was living in Saudi Arabia, when Muhammad came and murdered millions of black Jews, he forced the black Jews to, to speak Arabic, okay? Learn Arabic and then uh, uh, become Muslim. So those that refuse to become Muslim, a lot of them get slaughtered. So you got a lot of Muslim uh, uh, um, Israelites came up to Spain, okay? And took over Spain from the, the Moors, from um, the Vishqua, okay? The Moors ruled Spain from 711 all the way up to 1492. 1492, that's when the last strongholds of, Moors, of the Moors was um, um, this place called, um, I can't remember, up in Spain. Uh, Granada, Granada, okay? So what happened, these were the same people that Kalama brought with him that speaks Hebrew. The Moors spoke Hebrew. So now, when you read history about um, about the Moors, they, yeah, the word Moors mean black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what the scholar called them. Right? These people came, came with Columbus. Now, when Columbus came to the Dominican Republic, why Columbus brought us these people with him? Because what? Because the Dominican at that time here. speaks Hebrew. They didn't speak Spanish. So Columbus needed Hebrew interpreter to speak to these people in the Hebrew language. Okay? The reason why we keep bringing us like this every two weeks because a lot of so-called Hispanic thinking they're European and they're, but they're they Jews also. But these are the people that Kalama brought with him they know today as the Moors. Okay? Moors. At that time, no type of Kalamas. They speak Hebrew and they speak Arabic. The leader at that time, it was a brother of, I can't remember his name. Um, uh, uh, he was the one that, he was the main Hebrew interpreter with Columbus. So what happened is, um, he came to the Dominican Republic and he speak to the Taino Indian in the Hebrew language. They didn't speak Spanish. Now later on, Columbus raped up their ancestor and brought them to Spain and forced them to speak Spanish. That's so your ancestors are speaking Spanish. You see what I'm saying, brother? But by that time, you speak Hebrew. Okay? There's many record on that. There's no, there's, when I say there's no, no um, challenge, because you know what? They cannot disprove it. There's archaeology facts proving that the Hispanic and the blacks, they are the original Jews. There's many archaeology records. So you got a lot of dumb, ignorant people on YouTube saying that nobody know who these people are. No, the Hispanic, they are our brother. We can prove it. Hold that. Give me Jeremiah 50 and 33. What's that? Jeremiah 50 and 50, 33. Because the Hispanic, they're catching the same hell with us, brother. Right now, there's a thing called, um, there's a thing called, um, uh, gentrification, right? Gentrification means what? All these cities that own these big buildings, like in, this, in the so-called hood, they're going to sell all these buildings and turn them to corp. That's called gentrification. We're seeing a European moving up from out of Manhattan, moving to Brooklyn and taking over all these big buildings and jack up the rent $3,000 a month for one bedroom. A lot of black and Hispanic going to catch hell. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's when we're going to come together in the last days. Okay? So this is the Moors right here. Dark-skinned people. These are the people that come to Columbus and the slave ship to speak to the Taino Indian in the Hebrew language. Okay? They're Israelites. Okay? Then... The same book, there's a lot of history in the same book right here. Here come blacks, it's, it's in ancient Spain, see? These are the early Spanish Christians, see? See? The early Spanish Christians. These are Jews that was up in Spain. And when you ask yourself how the black people got into Spain, majority of black, black and Hispanic got, blacks got into Spain during time of what? During time of King Solomon. There's record on that, okay? Okay, there's a place in Spain called Tar Tartessus. That's when, it, that's when the ancient, the ancient, uh, the original people up in, up in Spain, they were the sons of Japhet. They came up into Spain, and then later on, Israel came and kicked them out. Jews out Israel, the Japhetic people know today as the Hawaiian. You ever seen the people look like East Indian? They look like Indian, the Hawaiian, Polynesian, Eskimo Indian, Hawaii. Hawaii. Those are the sons of Japhet. They came from Sina. Those are the original people of Europe. If you, if you check out the history, those are the people of Europe. So there's many... Um, things that we accomplish in history, brother, if, if they teach black and Hispanic history today, it's going to take them years because we we accomplish everything, man. I know you heard of Edward the Black Prince and stuff, you know what I'm saying? We got we got books 
about Edward the Black Prince. You ever heard of the, the, the Battle of Poitiers, right? They are the Battle of Poitiers, uh, the, the Hundred Year Wars and so forth. Those were black people, brother. Begin with uh, Edward, the, uh, the, uh, Edward the Black Prince. He conquered the, um, uh, uh, the village, the place up in Spain. Edward the Black Prince was Prince of Wales. Okay? And the father was, uh, was, a, was Edward II, who were black people. So you got these people were fought in fighting over, over, uh, over um, uh, 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 it was England and France fighting each other. They were bloody in war. They called it the Hundred Year War. It was the Black Prince, King um, Philip IV, is the sixth of Spain. He won the war over, over, um, over the Spain, uh, over, um, over the French. Okay? So it was the war between the, the, um, the British and the French. It was called the Hundred Year War, and Edward the Black Prince, all the way up to, uh, to 1485. From 1337 to 1485, that's a 116 years war. But it's called a Hundred Year War by the, by the historians, okay? So these were black people. The reason why I called Edward the Black Prince because he, he did not, not because he wearing no armor, that's a lie. They're trying to hide the history because he was a dark skinned man. It was, it, was, it was dark as hell, so they called him the Black Prince. He were black people, and they, were, they choose the rule, um, the rule England at one time. Okay? So there's many um, people, when it comes to the, 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 the war in Spain, like I said, King Philip the, the Sixth, King Philip the Fifth, those were black people, Jews. Okay? So like I said, the Hundred Year War was a war that fought between England and the, and the France. The first that, 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 that won the war was the, was the British. They won the war. Then the French came won, the British came on uh, uh, won, then the French came and won, the British came and won, then the French came and won in 1485. That's the last time the Hundred Year War lasts. And then later on, who took over the Tudor dynasty under King Edward VII. Okay? So these were black people, brother. And we could go into many history proving these were dark skinned people. You see what I'm saying? You got King Le Leopard. He was, a, he was a Byzantine, Emperor of Byzantine. The Byzantine king. We're black folks. King Leopold. We got books. It's a book called, they call Peter the Great. Okay? The men and the, and the, the subtitle called the men and the sun. They were dark skinned people. So they're not telling you the history of about black history. Our black men ruled Europe from the time of concept, from the time of 193 AD when Rome fell and the, and the brother by the Septimus Severus. Okay? And then from, from, from King, King, uh, King uh, Constantine the Great all the way up to 1453. Okay, May 29th, 1453, we ruled uh, uh, known as the Dark Ages. The reason why we call it Dark Ages is because black people rule. Like I said, the reason why oh, people don't know the history because majority of people don't read America, man. They said that his um, historical are proven, the sticks are proven that only 5% of Americans read. 5%. What happened to the other 95%? They're not but dummies. And majority American, they got damn degree and they're dumb as hell, man. You actually have an American give you a brief history of Europe or China. They can't do that. They're as dumb as hell. They're going to tell you, well, Chinese, Chinese, but they understand that the original Chinese were dark skinned people. The same guy that wrote a book called, by Brandon Smith is a book called China, a history in heart, where he's showing the real Chinese were dark skinned people. The real Chinese. But the reason why, the reason why these Chinese look like European today, because they got their ancestors got raped up by, 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 the, by the Mongolian king, Genghis Khan. Mongolian, not no damn Chinese. Mongolian are white European known as the Genghis Khan from, from, the, uh, from the land of Mongolia. Okay? So the majority of people, these Americans, they're dumb people, man. They don't know no history. All they know, they celebrate Thanksgiving, Christmas. You ask the American, in, the African American, when is the new year? They're going to tell you January. Because they don't know. January is not the new year. But these are the basic things that they don't know because they're so stupid. And the real history they can't see, that's... That, 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 that can that differentiate between the facts and the lies. Okay, read. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 50, verse 33. Right. Thus said the Lord of hosts. See? The Bible says, Thus said the Lord of hosts. Read. The children of Israel. The children of Israel mean what? The northern kingdom. The northern kingdom are the, the ten tribes, start from Ephraim all the way down to what? All the way down to the, um, the Mexicans. That's where the children of Israel is. Go ahead. And the children of Judah. The children of Judah is, you got the Negroes, the West Indian, and the Haitian. Judah. Benjamin and Levi, these are the northern kingdom. The kingdom split during the time of Solomon. You got a southern kingdom, okay? You got a northern kingdom, you got Jeroboam, and you got Roboam. They did not, they, they, they split. There's a war between them tribes. So they split. So the northern kingdom were known today as what? The so-called Hispanic tribes. And the southern kingdom were known today as the, as the, uh, the black American, 
Western and the poor and, and, and the Haitian, those are the, those are the southern kingdom, okay? Well, well oppressed together. And they're both oppressed together. They've both been oppressed in slavery. They've been oppressed during the time of Assyrian captivity. They've been oppressed during the time of the Babylonian. The northern kingdom been oppressed during the time of Assyrian captivity. And the southern kingdom become oppressed under the uh, under the uh, under the uh, the Babylonians and the Nebuchadnezzar the second. Okay, read. And all that took them captives right, held right. them fast. Right. They refused to let them go. The, the white men refused to let you go. They don't want to teach you the truth. They want to keep it in ignorance. They want to keep it saying that celebrate Thanksgiving. Well, the, the death holiday, the town where they murder millions of Indians. They want to keep you in another oppressed holiday, damn Christmas. Where is it in the Bible tell Christ born December 25th? There's no record right telling Christ born December 25th. The men were born in the Passover. You got these, these dumb Christians with a big Christmas tree right in front of the church saying that celebrate Christmas and they claim to know the Bible. They claim to be the spiritual person. When the Bible tells the Christmas is a pagan holiday. You tell it right in the book of Jeremiah chapter 10. And then you can prove that Christ was born in the springtime is telling in the book of Luke chapter 2. There's many books out there showing you that Christ was not born on damn December 25th. Michael Grant as a historian tell you straight up that Christ was born in the springtime the Passover. The book called The History of Rome. There's many books out there, the Bible's history, proving that Christ was born in the springtime, which is the Passover. You tell right in the book of Luke. All you gotta do, read the book of Luke chapter 2, it tells you Christ was born in the springtime, the Passover. Not no damn December 25th. Okay? And this is not Jesus Christ. We're gonna keep showing these people that this is not Christ. Christ with a dark skin man with Woody here. This is not Jesus Christ. This man is Caesar Borgia, the second Pope of Sa the second son of Pope Alexander VI of Rome. He have sex with his own sister, Lucrezia Borgia. Lucrezia Borgia is the one that put up this image. This is not Jesus Christ. You got a lot of dumb, ignorant people thinking that this is Christ. This is not Christ. Christ did not look like this. This man is Caesar Borgia, the second son of Pope Alexander VI of Rome. Okay, and he died of syphilis. This man is not Jesus Christ. He have sex with his own sister, and he's the one that, she's the one that authorized, um, he, um, her, 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 his father, uh, La, uh, um, Alexander VI, Rodrigo. is the one, Laquisha, uh, Rodrigo Borgia, thank you, brother, is the one that authorized Michelangelo, I think, um, Leonardo da Vinci, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, both of them was going to see who could write a better um, image of Christ, and they put up this white image of Caesar Borgia, fooling the whole world, thinking this is Christ, and this is not Jesus Christ, this is the devil when you read the Bible, this is not Christ, Christ never looked like this, no one in the Bible tells Christ got the woolly arm, no long string here, this is this image that a lot of Hispanic that love, yeah, that's not Christ, sister, read the Bible, read, read Revelation 1 and 3, blessings he that read it, this is not Christ, you know, you know a lot of our people get mad when they tell them this is not Christ, Oh, ignorant. Let's go in the Bible, proof that Christ was, 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 was the dark skin and the woman. Huh? Yeah, they grew up to thinking this is Christ because they get brain, they're brainwashed. They get brainwashed, and exactly, and they don't want, they don't want, it, they don't want knowledge the truth. Say something. Say something. Right, so, huh? so this, this picture is used to condition you to worship, and the white man. There you go. You know, so a lot of Hispanics and our people, the so-called black people, all, all of the people. Get mad when you condemn this image. You understand? Read what you got. Yeah. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 5 and 13. Come on. In the midst of seven candlesticks, one like the Son of Man. So, this, who's the Son of Man? Jesus Christ. One like the Son of Man. Come on. Clothed with a yeah, garment like down that. to the foot. Just like I have. Clothed with a garment, a robe down to the it, foot. It like that. Yeah, really there you go. Read the 14th verse. Jump down to verse 14. Huh? His head and his hair is white like wool. See, Christ had white woolly hair, just like you said. Only people of color have woolly textured hair for the most part. But the Bible says Christ had white woolly hair. Come on. As white as snow. As white as snow. Come on. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Meaning Christ had red bloodshot eyes. Come on. And his feet like the fine brass. And his feet was the color of fine brass. Brass is a brown color. You understand? So this is a lie. This is a lie that was given to us by the, the, mainly the Vatican Church. To condition people all over the world. When the white man went all over the world, get Micah two and two. You want to come back in? You know, when, uh, when the white man went all over the world, he used this image to tame and conquer people of color, just like we said earlier. You understand? But the Bible says completely different from what the white man teach in the images he have all over the world. Yeah, I know you don't like it, but the truth won't come out. 
You understand? Completely different. You have that? You have the book of Micah, chapter 2, verse 2. Come on. And they covet fields. And they covet fields. Fields are symbolic of lands. Fields are symbolic of property. So to covet something is a deep, hard desire to take something that doesn't belong to you. So the Bible says your enemies, our enemies, covet fields. Come on. And take them by violence. And take them by violence. Who did that to the Puerto Ricans? The so-called Spaniards. Who did that to the Haitians? The so-called French. Who conquered the world? The so-called white man. So they said they took those lands by violence. Come on. And houses. And, yeah, houses. Come on. And take them away. And take them away. So they oppress a man. So they oppress a man. And today you oppress. You know, you know what I'm saying? Physically and spiritually. The main and the worst oppression is the spiritual. Right? The best way to control a man is through his mind. Agree? And, and his house. And his house. Come on. Even a man come on. and his heritage. And the so-called Puerto Ricans. You don't have your own heritage today. The so-called blacks. You don't have your heritage. Proof of that is Thanksgiving. You just everybody was going crazy over Thanksgiving a couple of days ago. What does that have to do with anybody? Thanksgiving was created based on the enslavement and destruction of the original people who inhabited this land, the North American Indians. They would cut off their heads and kick the heads around like soccer balls, and, and they would have big feasts after they destroyed a group of Indians. Then when I believe when Lincoln came on the scene, he said, "Listen." We ain't going to have this every uh, couple of days or every month. We're going to have one day for Thanksgiving, and we, you celebrated that last Thursday, or this Thursday that went by. You understand? So this, along with religion, along with false holidays, was used to create the destruction of the so-called Hispanics and the so-called Negroes. You understand? Right. Right. Excellent what the brother brought up. So, I wish... We're showing our people, man, that according to the Bible, our people, uh, okay. that um, this is not Jesus Christ. And um, you, you, uh, you finish with that for, uh, revelation, right? Cut. So we got we to get more proven that uh, let's get Daniel chapter 9. What color God is now? See, people always say that, oh, you just saying that because you're dancing. No, let's, let, let's see what the Bible said, okay? What come before light? Darkness, right? Darkness come before light. Let's see what color the supreme being. The, the one, the, 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 the American Indian called the Great Spirit. Let's see what color God is. Because, at, like I said, the so-called European, where they conquer the nation, they bring a white Jesus because it's not Christ. A lot, this, a lot of people in fool thinking it's Christ. It's not Christ. And the whole world have this image in the in the in the in the um, in their bedroom, in the bathroom, right, in the cars, right, on the license plate. And this man is Caesar Borgia. It's not Christ. Okay, Christ never looked like this. Okay. Let's see the description, the description of the supreme being. Read the book of Daniel, chapter the seventh verse nine. Right, I beheld to the to the throne were cast down. So when the Bible says, "I beheld to the throne were cast down," me all this kingdom coming to an end, all the kingdom of the so-called European coming to an end. That's why the Lord said, "I beheld to the throne were cast down." What is the throne? All the kingdom of this world, and the last kingdom that's going to rule the planet Earth is America. America is out of his is is, is, is in his way out. Okay, read. And the ancient of days did sin. And the Bible called God the supreme being, the ancient of days. Why God called the ancient of days? Because God have no beginning and he have no end. He's the ancient of days. Okay, read. When the Bible said this sin mean what? The most I about to sentence judgment. Okay, on the Gentile nation, on the kingdom of the Gentile. Okay, read. Whose garment was white as snow. So the church are teaching they're saying God doesn't have a spirit. The God is a spirit. So can a spirit wear a garment, brother? No. So the Bible said, whose garment was white as snow? Why did the most side wear white garment? Because white represents purity. That's why the so-called European they call themselves white. Because they claim to be pure. When they're the most evil people on the planet Earth, the Bible tells that white people are the most evil people on the planet Earth. The Bible called the Greeks the most wicked in all the world, man. The God called Antiochus. They're wicked. And the Greeks, they were white. They are white people today. Okay? The modern day Greeks. Because the ancient Greeks are the known pe same people of the ancient Japhets. Okay? Read. And the, and the hair of his head like the pure wool. And the Bible said God had hair on his head like the pure wool. What, what color is wool? Wool is a rough, rough hair textures. Like for instance, right? When you, when you have a, a big afro, right? And the white man, he got a long string of hair. Because they cannot get hot from because they, they hear so springy, it's a fall back. When you when you're in when you're in the winter, deep winter, you don't need a hat, brother. Because you're here, you the wool the woolness of the, the thickness of the hair is keep you here warm. Even scientists prove that. 
that black people got better hair texture than white people. It's proven. Okay? So the Bible said God here was like 